Hey guys, Zerg here for OneGlanceTrader.com and welcome back to my Baby Pips Forex Education video series. I just want to quickly say that I'm blown away with the feedback that I'm getting back from you guys around this Baby Pips. Um, it's taken off more than I ever thought it would. You know, I'm getting a lot of uh, emails and comments and new subscribers based on these type of videos, which is absolutely fantastic and if you've just stumbled upon this video um, and you want to see all the other previous videos and the baby pips um, education video series that I've been creating just head over to my channel one glance trader and go to the playlist section where you'll find all the other videos um, related to uh, this baby pips for its education video series and you know the reason why I've created these uh, videos is you know as a new trader everyone keeps going or talks about you have to head over to baby pips and there is no video version of baby pips um, out there at, uh, at the moment they call well create one in the future but what I've tried to do is for those of you who don't really want to or are not in tune in terms of your learning style around you know reading you know pages as in terms of support and resistance japanese candlesticks whatever it may be um i'll go out look at youtube find the best video out there for these particular for these particular topics and then present them back to you guys so you know you're getting a condensed version in video format um that hopefully is adding a lot of value which it looks like that is which is absolutely fantastic so we're going to continue with the elementary series uh, we're in grade two talking about Japanese candlesticks so again you can go back and check the previous videos we talk about what they are how they're set up the basic ones the single patterns the dual patterns and now we are here to the triple candlestick patterns so you know for those of you who are, are new to kind of candlesticks um, or, or even you know use them quite a lot I still think these videos that I've chosen are going to add, add a lot of value to you guys so the tutorial from baby pips talks about evening evening and morning star so I've gone back to you know a favorite so far on these uh, baby pips videos is uh, informed trades I think you know that overview of candlestick patterns is is great I, you know i don't need to go and look at thousands of videos i watch their video and it you know it gives you the basic overview which is what you need um so we've got a uh, informed trade video that talks about morning star and evening stars and then we've got the three white soldier and black crows and the three inside up and down so i believe that the uh, channel that I used was from Arrow Pips. Um, I think they've got a lot of tutorials around um, um, these candlestick uh, patterns. You know the three, four minute videos. They're very, very quick, uh, high level. And like I said, I, I think it portrays the information that you can read on the screen that I'm showing you now in video format really, really nicely, really clearly with some clear examples as well as how you can potentially trade them. So, you know, I'm quite happy with the videos I've selected. I think it gives you the good understanding uh, and basics and background that you need for these patterns. So, you know, I really hope you enjoy the videos. Okay, so the morning star is a pattern which is made up of three candles, um, a long black candle followed by a short white or black candle, which is then followed by a long white candle. Um, in order to have a valid morning star formation, most traders will look for a close of the third candle that is at least halfway up the body of the first candle in the pattern. Um, when found in a downtrend, this pattern can be seen as a powerful reversal pattern. Um, and if you look at what this represents from a supply-demand standpoint, you can sort of understand why. What you have here is um, the downtrend accelerating here with the period represented by the long uh, black bar. And then you have a period of indecision. In this case, it's a doji, um, if you remember that from our, our previous lesson on, on those patterns. Um, but it could be any sort of short uh, candle there. It doesn't have to be a doji. And then you have the uh, long white candle representing buyers taking control after that, uh, that uh, uh, star of indecision, that star portion of the pattern. Um, unlike the hammer and the hanging man, which we learned about in our last lesson, as the morning star is a three candle pattern, traders will oftentimes not wait for confirmation from the fourth candle before considering uh, this a valid pattern. And in addition, traders will look to the size of the candles for an ind indication of how big the potential reversal might be. Um, the, basically what they're saying here is the larger the 
uh, the white and black candle, the larger the potential is for reversal um, and the larger that reversal may be and the larger or the uh, more that the uh, uh, white candle goes up into the body of the black candle the greater the potential for reversal and the larger the reversal um, is expected to be so here's what this looks like on a chart uh, you can see here we've got the downtrend in place and then we have the morning star ideally we'd like to see um, a little larger black candle there on the left hand side but this is still a valid pattern here and especially since we've got such a large uptick in volume on the uh, on the move upward where the buyers are taking control um, that should be opening you know an eye opener there that uh, that potentially something's uh, changing in terms of the trend there uh, the evening star is basically the exact opposite of the uh, morning star, and this is found in a um, when it, when it's found in an uptrend, it's considered a reversal pattern. And what you've got here is a long white candle showing the acceleration of the uptrend, and then a uh, short candle again here. It doesn't have to be a doji uh, representing indecision in the market after that big ups up shot in the market, and then you've got the long black candle indicating that buyer or sorry sellers uh, are taking control of the market, and, and there's a potential reversal in the making there. Um, here again, just like with the morning star, the close of the third candle needs to be at least halfway down the body of the first candle. <laughs> And uh, as with the morning star as well, the, uh, the tr tr a lot of traders will not wait for a fourth candle for confirmation before considering this a valid pattern. Um, and the same rules apply for the uh, length of the candles in terms of uh, in terms of uh, the potential for trend reversal and the size of that potential reversal. The longer the white and black candle are, the larger the potential reversal may be. Um, and also the uh, more the black candle goes into the body of the white candle, the stronger the reversal is thought to potentially be. Okay, so just a quick example here of the evening star. We've got an uptrend here in place, um, and we've got the three candle evening star pattern there and the sell off that occurs after that. And just as with the morning star, you're going to want to have volume confirmation there. And you, uh, you know, the more things you have as with, as with everything that we go over, uh, confirming that uh, there's a potential, you know, reversal in place, the better. Triple candlestick patterns, three soldiers and crows. In this video, you will learn what a three soldiers pattern is, what a three crows pattern is, how you can recognize the three soldiers and three crows pattern, additional considerations when trading these patterns. The three soldiers pattern is a bullish reversal pattern. It is also sometimes called the three advancing soldiers or three white soldiers and is found at the end of a downtrend. It is a clear indication of a shift in the balance from the sellers to the buyers. The pattern is made up of three consecutive bullish candlesticks. The bodies of the second and third candlestick should be approximately the same size, although traders generally look for three candlesticks of approximately the same size. The candles have small or no upper wicks. If the third candlestick is visibly smaller than the preceding two candles, this means that the buyers are not completely in control and may indicate weakness among the buyers. This could be a riskier trade setup as the candle indicates potential weakness. The three crows pattern, also referred to as the three black crows, is a reversal pattern found at the end of an uptrend. It indicates a clear shift in balance from buyers to sellers after an uptrend. The pattern is made up of three consecutive bearish candlesticks. The bodies of the second and third candlestick should be approximately the same size, although traders generally look for three candlesticks of approximately the same size. They have small or no lower wicks. If the third candlestick is visibly smaller than the preceding two candles, this means that the sellers are not completely in control and may indicate weakness among the sellers. This would be classed as a riskier trade setup. The three soldiers and three crows pattern provide very strong signals. However, you should bear in mind that an overextended body within the pattern might mean that the price may have advanced too quickly and the market could be oversold in the case of a bearish reversal or overbought 
in the case of a bullish reversal. You should take care when considering a trade based on this. And if the wick of any of the candlesticks forming the pattern is longer than one of the bodies, then caution is advised when perceiving it as a three soldiers or three crows pattern. So far, you have learned that the three soldiers and the three crows are reversal patterns. The three soldiers consist of three consecutive bullish candlesticks after a downtrend that have approximately the same size and small or no wicks. The three crows consist of three consecutive bearish candlesticks after an uptrend that have approximately the same size and have small or no wick. Triple candlestick patterns, three inside up and three inside down. In this video, you will learn what three inside up and three inside down patterns are. To recognize a three inside up candle pattern on a price chart. To recognize a three inside down candle pattern on a price chart. And what to consider when using these patterns. The three inside up pattern is similar to the Morning Star triple candlestick pattern. It indicates a potential trend reversal found at the end of a downtrend. The following chart shows an example of a three inside up pattern. The first candlestick is long and bearish, indicating that the market is still in a downtrend. The second candlestick is bullish and should ideally close at the halfway mark of the first candlestick. The third candlestick is also bullish and closes beyond the open of the first candlestick, ideally above the high of the second candle. This indicates a potential trend reversal. The three inside down candlestick pattern is the opposite of the three inside up pattern and indicates a trend reversal found at the end of an uptrend. The following chart shows an example of a three inside down pattern. The first candlestick is long and bullish indicating that the market is still in an uptrend. The second candlestick is bearish and should ideally close at the halfway mark of the first candlestick. The third candlestick is also bearish and closes beyond the open of the first candlestick, ideally below the low of the second candle. This indicates a potential trend reversal. A reversal pattern signal is stronger if it happens after a steep trend because the markets can rarely sustain a rapid price move. A correction can usually be expected. If the second candlestick does not reach the halfway point of the first candlestick, but the third candle still closes beyond the open or the low of the first candle, it may be considered as a valid three inside down pattern. So far, you have learned that the three inside up and three inside down are reversal patterns. The first candle is in the direction of the trend. The second candle shows a change in the market sentiment, ideally closing at the halfway mark of the first candle. The third candle closes beyond the opening price of the first candle. And there you have it. I really hope you found that useful. I'd be very grateful if you could like, share and comment on this video and also take the time out just to subscribe to my channel. I really want to try get these educational videos out there to as many traders as possible and really show them the way that they can learn to better themselves in Forex trading and also become a more consistent and profitable trader. And I shall see you on the next video.